gals, Brandy the Brandy's Creation. So, uh, my craft room's pretty messy right now because, you know, like, I've been wrapped in presents. I just got done with a craft fair. Um, so I was putting things away. And actually, I'll show you. It's kind of messy. Like, this is where I was wrapping my gifts and stuff. Uh, my desk is, my desk is pretty messy. Uh, over here is not clean. That has stuff all over it down there. But those are all of my packages that have to go out tomorrow. Yes, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten. Um, I did videos on this Christmas project I've done so far for the craft fair. This actually my mom's buying from me. And I put some of my stuff out. Like I, I kind of packed, um, I packed away most of my Christmas craft stuff. Because I'm not really making much Christmas stuff anymore. I only had to make the stuff for my, um, my swaps. And then I just wanted to show you this is what right now I've been doing. These are all my Christmas presents. And yes, I did buy them all for everyone. Actually, I bought this for myself. Well, actually, I bought it for my sister to give to me. They're um, the Nightmare Before Christmas Disney figurines. So I have Jack, Santa, Santa Jack, um, Sally, and Zero. Um, I wanted to show you guys. I made the um, the kids blankets. Look. I want to show you. Isn't this pretty? Okay. I made these blankets for them. Actually, let me put you guys down for a minute. Oops. I know it's going to be a little shaky. Hold on. I just want to show this. Well, this is, I'm just going to show other stuff, but I just want to show you, like, so I made these fleece blankets. My sister's, like, the ultra soft one, and I'm going to make one for myself, too. So they're, like, the Thai fringe blankets. Um, hers didn't, I wasn't really happy with hers because, you know, it's a different material. It's not normal fleece. So I feel like I would have been happier if I sewed hers. Because these are you cut and tie them. But the cutting of this material, when you pull it, see how it like, it like cuts it like this. So, I'm, and if you pull it more, it eventually is going to pull all the fur out. And these are going to fall off and the whole blanket's going to fall apart. So, I'm really, really scared. Like, some of them are really bad. And I'm really scared because I don't want to give it to her. I mean, it's only if you pull it, see? So, I don't know. Like, some of them are, like, really bad like this. So, I was really, really unhappy. I, like, was freaking out. Because I spent $80 on fleece. And it's really soft. And I'm scared if you wash it, it's going to get all messed up. So, But hers are foxes. And my, the blanket I'm making for myself is this material. So, I'm really scared. Because I don't want mine to fall apart. Because mine was really, really expensive. But. So I bought them a yard and a half. For the kids. Because they're smaller. And oh yeah. I didn't show these. I made these eraser paper clips. Aren't these cute? Or I think I showed these. I don't know. And then I have a gift. And then an ornament. For her. And then. This is for my cousin. So I got him some stuff. And then his blanket, the camo one. So if I can show you. It's, whoa. And his is expensive because of the camo fleece. But his is camo. See? And the dark green. Camo. But theirs came out really good. Because this fleece doesn't do that. Like this is a really strong fabric. So I wish I didn't get like the ultra soft specialty kind of fleece. Because it did that. So, I mean, I'm not really happy with it, and I'm really nervous and anxious about it, because I, you know, I made it special for them, and I didn't want something, I'm gonna, I don't want to make something special that's gonna, like, get ruined. So, yeah. And then, my little baby cousin, he's turning five in January. I made him, it's gonna be hard to show you, but I made him a Minions, ooh. Minions Christmas one and they are they're holding um, a letter That says dear Santa. I I can explain which I thought was super cute and um, Yeah, so I Have some other gifts. I have my cards um, This is for my boyfriend's dog. I have 
Little gifts all wrapped. This is for my mom. This is my grandma's. That's for my boyfriend. That's for my boyfriend. That's for my boyfriend. This is for my grandma. These are for my boyfriend. And then these are all my teacher gifts. Yeah, I kind of go crazy for my teachers. Ta-da! I mean, these are these two and this stack of books down here is all for one teacher because she's actually having a baby. And I didn't have a big enough bag. So I have, I made her stuff in here and then I bought her baby a teddy bear a Christmas teddy bear and I bought her books because she's my English teacher so that's what I got that and then I got a bunch of other stuff and then I got like my, my best friend's stuff and yeah it's hectic and then I ordered stuff for my sister from Amazon she loves Monster High so I ordered her Monster High stuff and then I ordered some other stuff too so oh let me show you the fabric for my blanket. Sorry about the crinkling. And I already had to patch holes in this, which I can show you. See, I patched holes. This is mine. And it's that ultra soft fabric too. But see how it like rips? Because it's like a fur. So if you pull the fibers, so that's why, and it, you rip it. So that's why you have to, I guess I have to be just super careful because I, I guess this this fabric's mostly for like sewing not for the stuff that's why they say use fleece not this kind of fleece because this is technically not really fleece this is like a, a, a ultra fiber kind of thing like these are super soft like there's a big difference between this because it's like a fuzzy kind of thing like you can see the difference between this and regular fleece so actually I have the difference I'll show you. So this is the ow. Here's the ultra soft, and this is fleece. So you can see the actual difference in the there. You can see it. See, this is like a furry kind of, and then this is fleece. And this doesn't fray really bad. Like this. If you take this, see? Because when you go to, t what you do is you pull the, you cut them in a strips on the sides and then you pull them to tie them. So when you pull them, that's when it does this. So I'm just really nervous because when you pull fleece, it stretches, see? And that's why you're supposed to use fleece for these. But I found this, and this was the only stuff, because I bought my stuff at Walmart, because I wasn't going to go all the way out to jo Joann's, which is like an hour and a half away from me. Oh, and then the bottom of mine is white. See? So I'm just really nervous. I'm just nervous, because I don't want it to fall apart and get ruined, which I don't think it will. But doesn't mean I'm not nervous. So, when I use my blanket, I'm going to try to take care of it. Because mine's, I got two yards of fabric, so mine's really, really big. Anyways, look, eight minutes in, just a quick little update, blah, 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 blah. Um, I wanted to share that I got um, a card from Tracy Adams, which is the uh, administration um, from all of us in Adam and on Chic Craftique, which is on, which is a Facebook group, which is Julian Crew. So they sent me a Christmas card. Look how sweet, with some seam binding and um, a little filigree. So thank you. That was really sweet. Um, and oh, I changed my phone case. Look, I changed it to Frozen for December. And then I wanted to, I'm going to show you a swap. And I want to flip through my pocket letter journal or binder, which I think I want to get a different binder. Now, I did a video of my Halloween pocket letter card swap I did, which are these two. But I guess it got deleted. So, yeah, not everything's in there. Like, there's stuff I've already used that I got gifted. And there's going to be a glare. So, this is one I created. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to flip through it so you can see if you guys have questions. Just ask me. There might be a slight glare. But this is one I made. And I haven't shown these. This is another one I did. 
I have a little shaker down here, breast cancer awareness, and then I did a St. Patty's Day, and I have four shakers that are all pretty much the same. And then this one, I have three shakers on this one. I have shells, this one down here with the palm tree, and then I have this one, and these have anchors in it. Because it's under the sea, you can see like the anchor, because the fishies. So it's a tropical one. And this is one I did, it's a Parisian one, and I have two identical shakers here with the Eiffel Tower. And then this is a swap I received, and some of the, like, the charm and some of the gifts that were in here. Um, this is a Nightmare Before Christmas one I received, and this one came from Australia. And then this one, which most of the stuff I took out of and used. And then these are from the swap I was in. Now this came as a gift, so I just put this in here because actually the card which is from the host, is this one, which is really cute. It says, yes, I drive a stick because it's a witch. I just thought that was really funny, but it doesn't fit. So I'm going to keep it separate, but I put, she gave us these bows, so I put that there. And the packaging on these swaps were really cute, but I did put most of the, the goodies back there. And then this is the other one. I love this one, little, fun little, cute little uh, scrunchy thing. This is the Alice in Wonderland pocket letter swap I was in. From Pocket Letter Pals, and there's the back. And then this is the Monster High one, and she gave me lots of little pins and goodies. She also gifted me pencils, and um, there's some paper clips. There's more paper clips up here. And there's a whole bunch of little goodies and such inside these little pockets like this one's full of stickers this one has little flowers and there's one with um, Florida stuff because she's from Florida and then more pins and all that fun stuff and that's the back so I just got my pocket letter Christmas one my Christmas and winter pocket letter card swap in the mail so that's going to be a separate video but I just wanted to flip through that. This is just like a little update, kind of relaxing, kind of laid back video. Um, actually, while I have time, I'll show you my treat bag swap. So, um, my partner was Renee Hill. And I already have hers packaged up. I'll actually show you with a box. But here's the one she sent me. Really pretty. Really cute. Look how cute. And she sent some goodies. Um, she also sent me a card, and a, she made me a tag, which was really pretty. Um, so she sent some Michael's, you can't even see me, sent some Michael's trim. I don't know why the glare is so bad, because my lamp's like so high up. Um, oh, there's all these little die cuts, which are super pretty. Super fun. And then these really cool metal filigree, like, ornaments, which seems like fun for mixed media. I love these. I'm so happy to see these. These little light bulbs. I love those. And then these really pretty Kane Company stickers. The Holly. Love that. And then these really pretty epoxy stickers. And then these cute little dimensional um, Christmas stickers. I love these. These are so freaking cute. So there is that. So just a quick share of that swap with you guys. And I'll show you her package real quick. So let me just... Waddle on over here. Oh, let me show you a quick sneak peek at the... We're supposed to make a small wreath. I made a big wreath. So, I don't know if you guys can see it because I'm in the way. But I made my partner. It's a small Christmas wreath swap, but this is a really big wreath. So I made her this wreath, and I gave her... I made her a mini album, so... Yeah, I don't want to show her address. So, yeah, let me show you Ren uh, Renee's package. Oh, and the winner of the Scrap It With A Song design team entry or package is coming to Alaska soon. These are all getting mailed on Saturday, which is tomorrow, the 12th. This video probably will be up after that. But um, let me show you. This is Renee's package. And I can show you her treat bag. So these are all her goodies. Now, I didn't put them in the treat bag because I didn't want to ruin the treat bag. But these are just a whole mess of goodies. So, and it's all held on to this clip. 
whole bunch of yummies. All three bags. There's candy all in here. I have an ornament and I have these candy canes I made. And then this is a mini album I made her. And then I made this and there's an ornament in there for her. Um, and then I gave her one of my little banners. And then her cards in there. I have a pair of earrings for her. Oops. And this is her treat bag. Super cute. Kept them really simple so she could use them and it wouldn't get ruined. And yeah. So there's her package that needs to be sealed up. But I ran out of tape. And there's my, this is my secret Santa package. Look how festive it is. I love this wrapping paper. Look at the stickers. And then I have another treat bag swap, which is this one. Christmas treat bag swap. This whole thing is packed. I didn't do a video on this, but yeah. And then um, I have a stocking swap and then a personal swap with Ashley, who's chronic scrapper, who's also the host of this swap. So yeah, just a quick little update, guys. And um, talk to y'all soon if you have any questions. Just talk to me. Bye-bye.